All right, greetings, YouTube. This is Beautiful Mind coming at you with another question. This is a question, um, it's, it's a work done question. To me, it's similar to like a distance equals rate times time. So the way that we have, you know, distance equals rate times time, um, let's look at this one. So this comes from section 9-3, question 29. Uh, this is, it's not pre-calculus essentials, but... Uh, it's intermediate algebra by Lyle Hornsby and McGinnis. Uh, but anyway, so it comes to section 9-3 of that book. I think it's the it's either the 10th or the 12th edition. But it says, two pipes are connected to the same tank when working together. When working together, they can fill the tank in two hours. The larger pipe working alone can fill the tank in three hours less time than the smaller tank. How long would it take... How long would the smaller one take uh, working alone to fill the tank? Uh, just a quick sketch of what's going on. So we have a tank, you know. And we have the two pipes are attached to the tank. Okay. Uh, we'll just let this be, we'll say L for the larger and S for the smaller. Uh, and then they're filling the tank. So we're going to fill the tank with some water. So they're filling the tank. Now, it says when they work together. So now, so we have, you know, like distance equals rate times time. What we're going to do with this one is work done or to complete one task. So we'll say one task equals um, rate times time. So I, th I think this, that's a, a good little way to look at it. It's, it's, it seems like it's been working for me when I think of it this way. Now. So, and we'll kind of use this, we'll kind of use this kind of notion. I think this is okay. So let's keep going. So it says when they work together, so they can fill the tank in two hours. So the time when they work together is two hours, right? But then it says the larger part, the larger pipe uh, working alone can fill the tank in three hours less than the smaller one. So the time of the larger tank is going to be the time of the smaller tank minus three hours. Okay. So then how long would it take a smaller one uh, to fill the tank? Okay. So to set it up, what we do, we'll say, say this is the smaller pipe, right? So for the smaller pipe to fill one tank, uh, wait, let's go in the order they gave us. Two pipe of, uh, we're working together, the large part. Let's do the larger pipe first. So we'll say larger pipe. So in order for the larger pipe to complete one, one tank or to do one task alone, I will say larger pipe alone. So to complete one tank, it does it in So the larger tank uh is the smaller tank minus three hours. So the smaller the time of the smaller tank minus three hours. And then we'll say plus. Now if we consider the smaller pipe alone, for it to do one task, it takes it whatever its time is. So the time of the smaller tank. Now that's going to be equal to if they work together. If they're, them working together to complete one task is going to take them two hours. You see how we did that? So the top is like the work done or to complete one task and the bottom is the time it takes them to do that task. Uh, let's, let's log that. Okay, so we're going to shrink this down or actually... Instead of moving that, let's move this stuff here. Let's move it over here. And then this. Let's put it here. Okay, so this is like um, work completed. And we'll say one task is the top part. And then the time is the bottom. 
So you see in the blue, we said work equals rate times time. So then we have the rate of the larger pipe plus the rate of the smaller pipe equals their, their rate together. And so if, if work equals rate times time, then the rate is going to be the work divided by time. So the top is the work completed, and we're just considering one task. The bottom is the time for, for that operation. So again, let's recap how we set this up. So then here... So now, if we consider the larger pipe, in order for the larger pipe to, to do one task, to fill one tank, it takes it the small, the time of the smaller, it takes it whatever its time is, which we got from here, we got from the thing. The smaller pipe to, to do one task takes whatever its time is. We said the larger one is going to be three hours less than the smaller one. The smaller one, we don't know, so we just gave it a variable. Now, I know if they're working together to complete one task, it takes them two hours. Okay, that's, that's how we set this up. So then, I think from this point, um, we just solve. And first, we want to identify our LCD. So everything is factored. What we're going to do for right now is just multiply all the denominators. That's the simple explanation. Now, you might want to do a quick YouTube search on how to find the LCD. So I'll say search YouTube on... How to find the LCD. Okay, because uh, there are other techniques. Uh, for this one, the simple thing is just going to be to multiply the denominators. Um, but there are more uh, sophisticated techniques. So then if I do this, I'm going to say 2 times the time of the smaller tank times the time of the smaller tank minus 3. Okay. And I'm going to multiply the left and the right by the LCD and distribute. So then I get this one. I get this one. So you, you multiply the left side of the equal sign by this, you'll, you'll end up distributing, you'll get this, and the right, you'll get this. So then this cancels this, all right? Uh, the time of the smaller tank is gonna cancel that one, and this two is gonna cancel that. So then, the first one we have, the time of the smaller tank, O and 2, okay, plus we still have the 2 and the time of the smaller tank minus 3, and then on the right we have the time of the smaller tank times this minus 3, okay. So then we simplify, I'm going to move everything to the right and then reverse the order. Um, so if I distribute on the right, I distribute here, right? I get the time of the smaller tank squared minus 3 times the time of the smaller tank. I'm going to subtract uh, my 2, so it's minus the 2 times the smaller tank, the time of the smaller tank, minus the 2 time of the smaller tank minus 3, and then setting this equal to 0. So I moved everything to the right, and then I reversed the order. Okay, so now if I simplify the time of the smaller tank squared, uh, let's see, minus 3t minus 2t minus 2t plus 6 equal to 0. Time of the smaller tank squared, that's a negative 7 time of the smaller tank plus 6 equals 0. So then it looks like we can go, we can factor this immediately, go straight here, the time of the smaller tank. Okay, so this plus tells me that the two signs are the same. This one tells me that it's that the larger one is negative. So if they're the same and the larger one is negative, then they both have to be negative. Two numbers that multiply to give me 6 and add to 7 are negative 6 and negative 1. Notice that negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6. Negative 1 plus negative 6 is negative 7. So then the time of the smaller tank is either 1 hour or is 6 hours. Okay. Now let's go back to the context. Now, when they work together, they can complete, they can fill this tank in two hours. So one of these answers doesn't make sense in the context of the question. Algebraically, it's correct, but in the context, it doesn't really make sense. So this, the time being one hour doesn't make sense in the context of the question. So then we would say the time of the smaller tank should be six hours. Okay. And then you can, you know, you can plug this into the original provider. We set the original up properly. Um, 
one third plus one sixth is a half. Okay, so that checks out. So yeah, I know that one was a little funky. The hardest part with this one is is setting up setting it up. Okay, but that's how we would do it. And so we'll end the session there. And uh, from one beautiful mind to another, enjoy the rest of your day.